Meanwhile, Mr. Leonard and Hazel Foster celebrated their 70th wedding anniversary at the Seventh-day Adventist Church in Mandeville in June this year. The couple, who were caught up in the longevity of their years, were surrounded by members of the church who were all eager to know what is the secret to achieving a milestone such as this. Lincoln Liking now takes us to the Seventh-day Adventist Church in Mandeville for that story. Celebrating 70 years of wedding bliss is not an achievement that is common in many marriages. But for Leonard and Hazel Foster, it is a blessing that they remain grateful for. The couple, who are residents of Mandeville in the parish of Manchester, recently celebrated the milestone with family, friends, and members of the Seventh-day Adventist Church in Mandeville, where they were lauded for their accomplishment. According to First Elder of the Seventh-day Adventist Church in Mandeville, Dr. Vincent Peterkin, achievements like these are likened to a phenomenon. This is a phenomenon. It's, it's a clear phenomenon. Uh, very seldom you find people living together for so long. And 70 years, that's a lot of living for a couple. A lot of time for them to be together, um, sharing a lot of commonalities. And I'm sure that um, they have had differences. I'm yes. sure they have had frustrations. I'm sure that they have had concerns and maybe some problems to their marriage that like we have had. We did not get the opportunity to speak with the Fosters, but for the elated members of the church, including pastor of the Seventh-day Adventist Church in Mandeville, Thomas Rose, it is the view that such an accomplishment may not be experienced again in his lifetime. I don't think I'll ever live to see any other couple being married for 70 years and to be a part of it. And it, it tells me something, that marriage is still great, is still honorable. And despite the challenges that couples face in the world today and individuals who get divorced, I want them to really look and take a page from the book of Hazel and Leonard. For 70 years, it must have been a sweet, sour, compromising experience, but it tells me something and it inspires me. First elder of the church, Dr. Vincent Peterkin, and his wife, Sandra, suggested that such accomplishments can only be the result of love, respect, and trust. I believe that one of the things that kept them together for so long is their Christian commitment, their commitment to God, and their commitment to each other. Uh, it is very clear, very evident that they have a commitment with each other and that has kept them together for this long time. This sentiment was echoed by Dr. Peterkin's wife, Sandra. Christ, Christ in the home is what really keep them together, but most of all, they must have respect and love for each other, not trying to change the other person, but just work along with the person and accept the person for who are who he or she is. You're, you're saying, Acceptance. I, I, I think what she's trying to say is that um, the, you need to keep your own individuality. Right. But at the same time, you've got to merge yourself into each other. That her interest becomes my interest, interest. And my interest becomes her interest. It's like each for the other and both for the Lord. Right. With there appearing to be a generational gap in values and attitudes, tradition continues to slowly give way to unconventional trends. But for a young couple, Delano Myers and his fiancée, Candice Welcome, marriage remains an institution of great value. Um, we are here at a 70th anniversary celebration for brother and sister Foster, and I believe if they can do it, that anybody can. Um, nowadays, it's, it's rare that you see people taking the step anywhere at all, not just in Jamaica, taking a step towards marriage. And for, for someone to take that step, it's an extremely hard and difficult decision to make. So... And it's also unselfish. Right, it's also unselfish. Mm. You can go ahead. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> well, I mean, I'm not from Jamaica, but where I'm from, I can see that the... Commitment, trust, um, communication, it's certain values that we have in our relationship, it is not, <laughs> there's not much of that happening. And I, I would say my generation, I think um, most of them are losing those um, values. M maybe it's from media, maybe it's from um, peers, it, I'm not sure, but 
I don't think personally that a 70th anniversary is something that's going to happen like a lot. Um, you mean as to like, be like, to be normal. Yeah, I don't think it's something thing. that's normal. According to Dr. Peterkin and Pastor Rose, for marriages to celebrate scores of anniversaries, it takes the art of compromise and understanding and that it is something that couples in the church and in our communities need to learn. I think the average Jamaican needs to understand himself, herself. You need to understand what life has to offer. You need to know why you're here. You need to know where you're going from here. And you need to know how you're going to get there. And the things in life that's going to complement the journey, whether it is a spouse or whatever, Whatever you're adding to yourself, you must know that and you must have the confidence and the self-assurance that you can step forward with this situation. And that is why some people do well in their marriages. Uh, July 5 coming will be 28 years married together. And um, we are very excited that we could have another 28 or more. Yes. Uh, but whatever, whatever it gives, we are just excited about it. I might not get to 70 years, but at least I would be living with my spouse until death do we part. And if we can get that across our society, across the world, that marriage is a lifelong commitment, I believe we'll build better homes, better societies, and our churches will be better off. And for the couple representing the second and third generation of youth, they strongly suggest that communication and trust are just two of the values of a healthy relationship. Nowadays, there's really, like, especially having a long-distance relationship, it's... It's, it's imperative that you have trust with that person. Yeah, that, that's yeah. a really, really <laughs> big part of it. And mm -hmm. trust is an impart important building block of any relationship. And I believe that that is one, one of the things that kept us together so long. I think so too. And, and also our faith. Because we have the same faith, it kind of helps us as well. And the Bible also I mean. tells us not to be unequally yoked. So... I mean, I you can be in the same it. church and be unequally yoked, so it's it's like on a deeper level, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know the Fosters very well, but you know, Delano knows them. So I, from what I see, it looks like they've had years of love. I am Lincoln Liking for Adventist Church News.